Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth at CraftsByHappyStamper.com. Today I'm sharing with you the April small group card swap from the Simply Stamp It Facebook group. And there are different themes every month and there are at least six people per group usually. So each person makes six cards and they get five back because one goes to the hostess. And uh, I'm the hostess this month, so I either get to keep the card or I donate it to an area hospital if it's appropriate for that. Um, you know, cards with glitter I can't send to the hospital. They don't appreciate them. <laughs> so the first group is Mother's Day, and this is Dawn Rockefeller's beautiful card. I love all the texture she has on it. Can you see all that? Hopefully you can see it. And I like that she carried it through to the inside. Not everybody does that, but I think it's a nice extra touch. Then we have Liliana Siv, I think is her last name. She did this fun card. You're one in a million, and then Happy Mother's Day is all glittery on the inside. Uh, Loretta Rogers did this card, and she always goes above and beyond, like decorating the packaging and everything, which is so sweet. And this month she put my name on it, which was nice. Then we have Stephanie Sherry, and she did this gorgeous card. I love this, the, can you see all that? The shading that she did on the inside. It's so pretty, I love it. And then this is Shauna Scott's card. This is a fun card, I love this card. It's simple and elegant, which is just my style. Nobody loves like a mom, that's so true. Then we have Darlene Hansen. And I didn't buy this set, but I see so many cute cards with it. Isn't that nice? All right, then we had Brenda Brain. She did this cute card using the paper pumpkin stamp set. Love that. All right, the next group was Thinking of You, and this is Martha Fairbanks, who did a fun, like, triple time stamping type of card. Then we have Ginger Harmon, who did this card. Then we have Aileen Hartle, who did this card. Oh, and this one ripped in the mail, but the others did not. So I, you know, I took the bad one and then sent the good ones on to everybody else. But this is the way it looks. And she did the fun pleat fold that's very popular these days. Then we have Kim Young, who did a pleat fold in a different style, which is another fun card, thinking of you. I hadn't seen this style before. It's very cute. Don Rockefeller did this fun card. I love all the gems, so pretty. Then we have Jessica Phillips, who did this antique card. She's really good at the vintage look. I am I love the vintage look, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> then we have Brittany Carlson, who did this super fun card. I love to see cards that are, you know, in a different shape than what's traditional. And these floral framelits that make these are retiring. Isn't that sad? I love that set. Then we have Julie Sullivan. You're in my thoughts. So pretty. And some people sent extra cards and they are going to the hospital, which is always nice. Okay, the next group is masculine and I am trying to move kind of quickly so that the video doesn't take forever. And this is Aileen Hartle's beautiful masculine card. It's a birthday card. Then we have Gail Williams. This is one of my favorite sets, the Wetlands birthday greetings. Very cute. Love the texture. Dawn Rockefeller, she just was like on the ball this month. She did several groups and all of her cards were amazing. I love them. Very pretty. And I love that she does the inside. We had Jessica Phillips. Now isn't this amazing? With the netting, I don't know where she got this, but it's awesome. You know, I love all sorts. Oh, I think the cards are like, I love all sorts of, you know, sea related nautical themed things. And this is amazing. I love this just for you. Then we have Shauna Scott. This is gorgeous. I love the way she did this. I don't know how she did it, but with the impressions in the background, I love that nice masculine birthday card. Then we have Sherry Poppin, Poppin, Pappin. I think it's Pappin. Happy birthday. Fun card. Then we have Lisa Polly is the last one in this group, I believe. That's a very cute card. Oh no. Oh good. 
Carolyn Gouda <laughs> is the last one in this group. I was like, oh no, I don't have a sticky note. And I love the simplicity of this. Works perfectly for a mask and card. All right, then we have the Animal Lovers group. Wait, maybe not. I'm confused. Oh no, current SU only is the next group. I was like, this is not an animal card. Look at Dawn Rockefeller. See, I told you she went all out this month. She did this group again. She's triple time stamping, beautiful inside. And she gave everybody a nicely stamped envelope, which is not, it's only required if you send a card that isn't a two size. Colby Fox did a gorgeous card this month. Love it. Happy birthday. Oh, it opens. <laughs> I was like, it's for left-handed people. <laughs> I don't know if she did that on purpose or an accident, but that's funny either way. And it's gorgeous. And she did some Wink of Stella. And if you know, watch any of my other videos or follow my blog, you know I'm obsessed with Wink of Stella. I love this card. It's simple and classy. I love it. Then we have Stephanie Sherry. She did another gorgeous card. I love the way she's doing the light sponging on the inside of the flowers so beautiful great job and it's always nice when people send them in these envelopes because then they don't get destroyed in the mail then we have darlene hansen did this beautiful card and i'm gonna miss this i think the c street c street stamp set is retiring and i'm gonna miss it because it's so i love nautical theme oh and there that was an extra one um, somebody backed out of current SU, so I provided cards as the place, but I didn't save them. So hopefully the people enjoyed them that got them because, you know, they just had to live with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, now we have Animal Lovers, and this is Kim Young's fun card. She's the Barnyard Babies from SU, I think. Isn't that fun? I love, I love animals. Gail Williams makes me wish I bought this set. It is carrying over to the new catalog into the meadow. Beautiful. Get well wishes. Aileen Hartle did another fun card. I just love how striking that temp I think that's Tempting Turquoise is with the basic black. Jessica Phillips did another vintage inspired animal card. Very fun. Loretta Rogers went all out again. Look at this fun cow card. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Let's make beautiful music together. <laughs> I am so cheesy. I love it. Okay, <laughs> now we have Fan. No, this is still. Oh, this was from Carolyn Gouda. And don't we? I mean, we all need cards like this, but it's hard to think of them. And she did a great job doing punch art for a sympathy card for the loss of an animal. And as I said, I got to get. I was able to get some extras because I participated in that group as well. Um. All right, then we have Fancy Folds. This is Martha Fairbanks, and she did the corner fold card. Interesting. Then we have Aileen Hartle, and she made this enormous card that I've never made one like this, like the sidestep thing, but it's gorgeous. She did a gorgeous job. Oh, sorry, you can't see it because it's so big. <laughs> it is big, and she provided her own envelopes. Then we have Brittany Carlson, who I think made her own envelopes. And it just feels like it's so, this envelope feels like it's so high quality. And then, isn't that fun? Card. Using the Lotus Blossom stamp set. I'll, I'll put that away later because I want to be careful. Then we have Loretta Rogers, who did another one. And I'm going to open this one. You know, I don't like opening them as much from her because I don't like to ruin the packaging. <laughs> but she did a fun flip card, Bugs and Kisses. This is from one of my favorite Lompon stamps. I love this flower. Beautiful card as always, and I'll put that away later. Uh, Deb Wallace did this fun card. I just learned how to make this type of card recently, and look, she even made this so it tucks in. Isn't that fun? And it opens like that. Oh, and there's glitter on the inside. Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's so pretty. I love glimmer. It just makes you smile, doesn't it? Then we have Jessica Phillips. She did this fun pocket card. Growing seeds of friendship, it says. And then uh, it says just for you. I think this pulls out. Yep, and this pulls out. Oh, and there's a little fairy with glitter wings. 
Very beautiful card. Very thoughtful. Then we have Carmen Torres, and I think she made her own envelopes too, and it feels like very luxurious. And look at that. Look at all that gold foil. Look at it. I love the shine. And she did, I made one of these for one of my technique clubs a few, oh, probably six months ago now. But she did a gorgeous job. It looks very luxurious and high quality. I love it. Great job. Then we have Kim Young, who did this dinosaur card. Oh, with some pops of leaves. Oh, that's this is magical. Watch, I'll hold it like this. See, it pops open. <laughs> Roar! Have a dinorific birthday. That's cute. All right, that's it for this month. Thank you for joining me. If you would like to join in in next month's swap, you just have to join the Simply Stamp It group on Facebook and sign up for, we have the signups for, well, May is, signups are over. So the signups for June will be at the end of May and you just sign up and mail in your cards. I hope to see you next month. Thank you.